Hello everyone, welcome to One Hour Gameplay channel. A new video has been released on the official Throne and Liberty YouTube channel and I'd like to tell you about it. In this video we'll discuss improving skills and equipment. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel as it motivates me to create new videos about this game. More subscribers mean more videos about Throne and Liberty. When enhancing skills, there is no chances of lowering the skill level and when enhancing equipment, there is no chance of its destruction. The effects from enhancement accumulate. Skills can be accrued upon reaching the required character level for that skill. You can see the required level for each skill at the center of its icon. Remember to move a learned skill to the skill panel for their use. The level of each skill is also displayed at the bottom right of each skill icon. All skills have different colors representing their grade. Each grade has 5 levels. At level 5 you can upgrade skill one more time, it will receive the next grade starting at level 1, obtaining additional enhancing characteristics. As seen in the example, a skill with a blue grade has significantly better characteristics and additional effects. To enhance a skill, click on the arrow in the top right corner of the skill icon. Here you can see how the skill will improve upon successful enhancement. The required items for its enhancement are displayed on the right. The amount of growth is determined by probability, the famous current randomness. To enhance your skill you'll need growth books. Additionally, remember that different skill books are needed to enhance active and passive skills. Crafting equipment requires various resources. To find the NPC that helps craft equipment, click on this icon. You'll pay a certain amount of coins based on the territory tax where this crafter is located. Materials are obtained through various roads such as hunting, picking and commissioned work. If you're curious about sources of a particular material, click the icon to check it out. If you obtain a duplicate equipment, don't discard it. You can register it at the Equipment Tagbon House. The Equipment Tagbon Collection allows you to collect and register a specific set of equipment and receive rewards. By utilizing the Tagbon House effectively, you can obtain equipment strengthening materials. Let's try to enhance the longbow. For this we'll need a weapon growth stone. In this case, tap the Weapon Grow Stone and tap View to find out where to get it. Here you can see a list of places where this stone can be obtained. Let's go to the Tagman House tab. Here's the list of Tagman Houses where we can get the Weapon Grow Stone. Choose one of them and visit the NPC who provides a list of necessary equipment to create a collection. By registering this collection, we can receive a Weapon Grow Stone as reward. Some necessary items can be bought from a regular equipment vendor, while others need to be obtained by hunting monsters in the Throne and Liberty world. Upon successful registration of the collection, you can claim your reward. Now we have the stone for enhancing the weapon, we can begin the enhancement process. Each equipment is also categorized by grades, and each weapon has a maximum enhancement level, which can be seen in the weapon description. Different enhancement stones divided into classes, General, Advanced, Rare and Unicu are required to strengthen different equipment parts. If you collect lower grade growth stone, you can also create high grade growth stones. 
Also you can dissolve high grade growth stones to receive lower grade ones. You can fully transfer the enchanted growth value to higher grade equipment and other weapons. To enhance one weapon with another go to the corresponding menu section, choose the weapon you want to enhance and use the longbow to strengthen it. We can enhance our Uniq Great Sword using a green colored longbow, but it won't offer significant improvement. However, when enhancing a green grade sword with a green grade longbow, we'll get a sword of the same quality and level as the longbow. Hence all enhancement applied to equipment can be transferred to other equipment. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as it motivates me to create new video about this game. More subscribers mean more videos about Throne and Liberty. Thank you very much one more time, I wish you good health and best of luck, goodbye.